it's gonna be a very early video recording for me it's like three in the morning because i couldn't sleep and the game started at noon 12 30 so i want to make sure i want to make sure i get this out before because if i fall asleep i probably won't wake up until later in the day so let's go through it week 11 was pretty good i'm at 102 over 62 plus 40 and i'm looking good ravens did their thing against the Bengals. Ended up losing Mark Andrews, hopefully not for the season, but who knows. The Bengals lost Joe Burrow. And um, I felt like the Ravens would have won no matter what. The Steelers, I thought they would do their um, fourth quarter magic thing. And it looked like to be that case, but Kenny Pickett is actually garbage. So they fired the OC and... I still don't think they're going to do anything with it. Good on the Browns, though. But, yeah, that's all you get. The Lions almost choked, almost almost blew this one. The Bears choked the game away. I'm just going to... I know when I was looking at the game, I was like, what are the, Bear, what are the Lions doing? But then you got Goff throwing three interceptions, and I don't know what's his deal. But they got together in this second half, fourth quarter. So, yeah, that was the Lions. <sighs> Why am I doing this at 3 in the morning? The Dolphins had the Raiders stay in it for a while. Commanders blew it against the Giants. I don't know what they were doing. So I think they had like five or six turnovers, even though they stacked the veto nine times. But you know, in classic commander's fashion, the secondary is garbage. Yeah, their front line is good, but that secondary, man, they just get blown up. The Jaguars blew up the Titans because, you know, Will Evans had that spark in the first game or so, but then after that it was just downhill from there. Texans and the Cardinals. That was a good game. Kyler Murray coming back really did change it up. How the Cardinals offense plays. Stroud looked a little bit looked bad, but you know, got to get the they're able to stay ahead, keep the lead, win the game. Cowboys did their thing against the Panthers, as you know that everyone should. At first, it was a little close. Well, not really in the start. But they got away. Bryce Young threw another pick six. He, he, he needs to sit down. Well, let's see how another quarterback... Not not to say he's a, he's a buzz. I'm not saying he's a buzz. I just need to think he's raw. He needs he needs to he needs to sit back and watch a, a watch a game or two. Let someone else step in, and then we'll see how bad this Panthers team is. Because if he can't even get sit back there and pass the ball, how do you, how does, how is another quarterback going to fare? If I'm the coach for the Panthers, I would sit Bryce Young for like a game or two, see how someone else is doing. Chargers choked away a game. Receivers couldn't catch the ball. Defense gave up way too many passing yards to Jordan Love. Jordan Love had his best game as a, pa- as a uh, uh, his best passing game in his career. I'm proud of that. I just didn't think it would. Ha- um, of all teams, though, it happened to the Chargers. So that's bad for the Chargers. 49ers back on their gr- on their grinds, winning their games. It's, it's it's so it's so it's so amazing how well Brock Purdy plays when he has all of his people. Brandon Ayuk, man, he's a beast. The Seahawks, man, the kicker. I mean, I can't blame the kicker all um, for the loss, but you know he he made almost every kick he made every kick he made prior to that, and he, he just missed it right. 
Geno Smith getting hurt, when Kenneth Walker getting hurt didn't help. Even though Geno came back, while well, he was out, Drew Locke just made it, didn't really help matters. Yeah, Geno Smith is needed. It's going to hurt for him because it's a short week. The Bills did that thing after finding out that OC. But honestly speaking, it was against the Jets. I think when you play the Jets with Zach Wilson at the quarterback position, once you get like a 10, a two digit lead, just go for it on fourth down every time because they're not going to move the ball that well. And when they do, it's too late. This is a good primetime game. Came down to the. And pretty much came down to the wire. Russell Wilson's reactivated. But, you know, Vikings had some bad turnovers in certain points. And the Broncos capitalized. So. The Chiefs. And receivers, man. It's like, you don't know who's going to step up outside of Kelsey. And you think you had one guy. I think it was Justin Watson, his name. But, you know, then, you know, the receivers kept dropping the ball. Kelsey fumbled. MVS dropped a wide open touchdown. Whether it was, in the, the ball was in the bad position or whatever. Once the Eagles got the lead, it was just pretty much like, yeah. Can't stop the tush push. Although I did miss, like, the first possessions of both teams. Because I thought the game started at what, eight twenty and started earlier. I don't know. So this today Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. We got to start the games at twelve thirty in the after, in the afternoon. So we got the Packers and the Lions. The Lions haven't won a game on Thanksgiving in years. I think they said they're zero and eleven on Thanksgiving games. But this is a new Lions team. And while the Packers do end up having a great game passing, and they ended up winning, it was the Chargers defense. So I'm going to get the Lions. Following that, we have the Commanders and the Cowboys. And the Commanders, even though they sacked the quarterback nine times against the Giants, the Cowboys aren't really that known for giving up a lot of sacks. Plus, you know, they're good on defense and getting to the quarterback. And Sam Howell is one of the most sacked quarterbacks this season. So I'm going to go with the Cowboys. Then tonight, we have the 49ers and the Seahawks. And the Seahawks are hurt. So I don't think they're going to get the win. So I got the 49ers. The division game for all three, I think maybe one or two of them might be close. Who knows? We might have an upset. But, hmm. Then tomorrow on Black Friday, we have Dolphins and the Jets. The Jets are starting somebody I don't know, Tim Boyle, but he doesn't look too good either. And I doubt the Dolphins are going to choke this one. Then we get to Sunday. We get the Saints and the Falcons. I've got the Saints. The Falcons, uh, uh, Desmond Ritter, I, has no, I have no confidence in. Even though the Steelers did fire their offensive coordinator in Matt Canada, and they think Kenny Pickett's going to have that that change in play like Josh Allen and the Bills did, you got to realize that Josh Allen is a far better quarterback than Kenny Pickett. Matt Canada wasn't the one that called the plays where where Pickett throws a, a ball to no one. Still don't know how that was an intentional ground. And even though the Bengals are don't have Joe Burrow, they still do have a good receiving unit. And they still have a good defense. The only thing the Steelers got going for them is their defense. So I got the Bengals. The Panthers play the Titans. I don't know how to how to gauge this one. Because it's like Panthers might might do something. So who knows how Will Evans is going to play. So I got the Panthers in the upset. Then we got the Buccaneers and the Colts. 
I believe the Colts are coming off a bye. The Buccaneers are coming off a loss. Hmm. Probably will go with the Buccaneers on this one because the Colts didn't look too good against the Patriots. Speaking of the Patriots, got the Giants beating them. Am I am I riding on the hot hand of DeVito? Well, I believe he's far better than Mac Jones is. And the defense for the Giants is is I think better than the Patriots, especially since Matt Judon is is out. I think he's out. But in any case, I'm still picking the Giants. Then we got the Jags and the Titans for the for the time being the lead for the AFC South. I got the Texans. They're hot. The Browns play the Broncos, and the Broncos, well, they are on a hot street. The Browns' defense can do their thing. I think that was probably a problem for uh, Russell Wilson. And DTR is getting a little experience, and, you know, they signed Joe Flacco, which is upsetting. He's, not, he's, he's the opposition now. It was one thing when he was with the Jets, but now... No, but I got. I'm gonna pick the Browns on this. If the Broncos end up getting the win, that helps the Ravens out. But I got the Browns. Then we got the Rams and the Cardinals. The Rams seem to have, especially Aaron Donald, seems to have the Cardinals number. Connor Murray, man, he's gonna be running. So I'll go with the Rams. The Chiefs and the Raiders. I think the, the game will be close, but I think the Chiefs bounce back against this. So we'll go with that. The Bills play the Eagles. And while I want to pick the Bills, their defense is hurt compared to the Eagles. So I'm going to pick the Eagles on this one. Then we got Sunday night. You know, I'm picking the Ravens. But against the Chargers, though, even though they don't have Mark Andrews, you got to realize that they lost Mark Andrews in the first quarter on the first drive. They still scored 30-some points on the Bengals' defense. And that was with no turnovers. Chargers give up a... I don't know. It's just the defense is suspect. And when they played in 2021 and Ravens were hurt, they still ended up beating the Chargers. And that secondary was hurt for the Ravens. They didn't have any their main running back unit. And they still won. So, yeah, I still got the Ravens. Then Monday night, we got the Bears and the Vikings. It could come close. I don't know how the Vikings defense fares against mobile quarterbacks. They were able to get to Russell Wilson a few times, but I think Russell Wilson has lost some of his speed. But I still pick the Vikings on this. So those are my picks. Let's go 30. Let's go 35. Those are my picks. I'm locked in. I'm going to sleep.